Before starting translating with Trados, you first need to create a translation memory. For this, you need to open Translator's Workbench and create a new translation memory. You go to File and then to New and then you choose the language. In this case, we have English and as target language, we have Swedish. You click Create And then you choose a location for your translation memory. I always advise you to create a special folder for your translation memory, usually named TM. Then typically, uh, the name of your translation memory includes source language and target language. And then you click Save. Thus you have Translator's Workbench open and you can start your translation in Trados. You click anywhere in the first line and then for opening the segment you go to Open, Get and here you have two lines. The blue one represents the source and you are never supposed to touch it and you always write your translation in the yellow part of the segment. After you insert the translation, you close the segment and for this you use uh, the button Set and Close. And then you can see both the source and the target in this translation unit, also called TU. Now please remember that SET it is the name that Trados uses for storing this translation unit in the translation memory. So if you only choose CLOSE, your translation unit won't be saved in the translation memory. Then you can go forward and open GET uh, the next translation unit, get comes from get the translation from the translation memory, of course, in case it is there. Then you continue. There is another way to uh, translate a little bit faster, and that is to choose the command set close open get. What this one does is that it saves the translation unit in the translation memory. It closes the segment and also it opens the next, next segment and gets the translation from the translation memory in case it is already there, which may be very convenient because you are basically um, save some uh, movements while you're translating. So then again, we go with set, close, open, get, but if we only want to close the segment without saving it in the translation memory, then we only choose close. Now let's go a little bit farther and get the concept of fuzzy. So I'm going to open another sentence also with open get. And what do I have here? I already have the translation and it is on yellow but something must not be right for this because in the first case I have warning and now I have caution. Now Workbench shows the differences, it highlights the differences when you have a fuzzy and also it shows a match, how high uh, the similarity for something that we've been translating before is. So, always keep in mind that when you see some translation on yellow background, it means there is a difference and you need to check the difference between the two sources and adjust the target, the new target, um, accordingly. So, we are going to modify this sentence for matching the source, the actual source, 
and here we have a different word, of course. And now we go again, set and close. And so you go until the end of document, opening each segment, and be sure you save each translation unit in the translation memory. I advise you to arrange your workspace in such a way that you can see both translator's workbench and Word while you are working. It may be very valuable to see the differences, to see the fuzzy match, and to adjust your translation accordingly. It is always professional to name your files in such a way that the content is very clear. So, I advise you to always use the professional uh, naming used in international uh, standard for translation and localization, and that is with underscore and the target language, not with TR from translator, not with PR from uh, proofreader, but with the target language regardless your role in uh, translation. So we are going to suppose that we finish the translation and now let's see how we can clean the document. A clean document means a mirror of the original file but in a different language, the target language. For cleaning a document you go to Translator's Workbench and then you choose Tools and Clean Up. You add your documents to be translated by clicking Add, and then you navigate to the actual folder where you save your translation. Click on the file name and click Open. Then you just click Clean Up. Be sure to have Update TM checked here, so everything will be updated in your translation memory, and click Clean Up. You can see how it is working and you can see the progress. Then you click Close. Then when you deliver, you will deliver both the clean and the unclean file properly, properly named with target language in the file name and also you will deliver the translation memory.